children. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Today we'll be seeing the concept of percentages. Yes, ma'am. You would have heard this word percentage. Okay. When in your exams, in your marks, how much percentage marks you got, how much uh, uh, percentage you scored, like that. What is percentage? Percent for every every hundred. Cent means hundred. Cent century. Century is hundred years, no? So how hundred runs you will tell. Cent means hundred. This is not the cent that is used in rupees, dollar cent. Not that. This is this is for every hundred percentage. So that is the concept. Okay. So percentage okay, means man. for every hundred. So the basic concept is uh, one part when whole is divided into hundred equal parts. So if the denominator of a fraction is hundred, then the numerator gives the percentage that is equivalent to that fraction. This is how the percentage is defined. Basically, we will be learning the conversions. What all you can convert is from a given number. It might be a whole number, natural number, integer, whatever. Or a decimal number. Or a fraction. Or a ratio. Anything. Any of this, you have to convert it into a percentage means the simple step you should remember is whatever number is given you should multiply it with 100 and put this symbol that symbol represents percentage okay now second is conversion of a percentage to a number or a decimal, or a fraction, or a maximum number. What you should do? Generally, they'll divide say divide by, by 100. No. Here, remember it as. It will be difficult if you remember. Divide as 100. Because when fraction comes, you don't know how to divide. So instead, remember it as. One by 100. There is no percentage. It doesn't. It, it means this symbol is written as this this symbol will be written like this simple okay so note this down now we will be doing some sums let's see some examples now they will figure express the given number as percentage means what you have to convert this into percentage whatever i am going to write 3 by 25. What is the rule I said? From a number or a decimal or a fraction or a ratio convert into percentage. What are we supposed to do? Multiply by 100. And put this percentage. So what I am supposed to do here? 100. Always remember 100 by 25 is 4. 100 by 20 will be 5. So those things, simple multiplication calculations and all, if you remember, this will be very, very easy. So 25 ones are 25. Four sir. Three fours are 12 percent. Can you tell this 7 by 11 as percentage? What you should do? Into 100. Yeah, into 100. Okay. Is there anything to cancel? Numerator to denominator. See if it is 100, this means it is 1. Is there anything between the numerator and denominator to get cancelled? No. So, directly 7 and 11 percent. Instead of writing this, you can also write it as 11 6 are 66. Balance is 4. 11 3 are 33. Balance is 7. So, 7 by 11 will remain. You can write it in mixed subtraction. Same way. If I have to convert 0 0.73 as a percent, what should I do? Decimal to a percent. Multiply by 100. So what will happen when you multiply 73, 0.73 into 100? 
seven three double zero two digits two digits answer is seven three seven three मैं बंटी मार्टी का नेगे सब बोल रही है कि आंसर है सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वाई है पर द आंसर वाई का आपने नॉट टेलेट है सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो जीरो इंसर्ट कर दिया सर एनी नंबर आफ्टर डेसिमल इफ इट इस फॉलोड बाय ओनली जीरो विदाउट एनी अदर नंबर वैल्यू फॉलोड दिस नीड नॉट � same applies to if it is 0, 7, 3. Do we tell 0, 7, 3 or we tell only 73? 73. Exactly same. So we will not no need to tell about this. Okay. Same like this. If it is 73.01, then you will tell 73.01 because there is a number followed by 0. But here there is no number is followed. Okay. Ma'am, yeah. I have a doubt. Yeah. I don't understand this decimal into percentage alone. Normal 100 into 100. Decimal multiplication. How to multiply the number, no? How do you multiply a decimal with zero? See, take the number with this whole number. Whatever number. 73 into 1 is 73. How many zeros are there here? Two zeros. I am adding it here. Now, after decimal, how many digits are there? Two digits. Two digits. Two. So from the unit digits, one, two, you will keep a dot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll do a couple of examples. 0 0.018, you need to convert it to percentage. So what I should do? Multiply it with 100. Now, what is my whole number? 18 here. Okay, I'll ignore zeros now. 18 I'm writing. And here, after one, two zeros are there. I am adding Okay, if you want, you can have 0 here, no problem. 0, 1, 8, you can write, but no need. Now, after decimal, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3 digits. So, here, 1, 2, 3 digits, I will keep a decimal term. Now, my answer can be written as 1.8. This 0, 0, you don't need to write. It's equal. 0, 0, 1.00 and 1 1.8 is equal. Mom, we should write 1.8 percentage, right? Yes, 1.8% here also. First one, start with, tell me, 8 is 8 by 25. What should I do? 8 to 100 percent. 200 percent. So what is 25 and 100 I can cancel? 4. 4. So 25 was that? 25 equal to 8 into 4. 8 into 4. Denominator 1 into what? So it's 1. 8 into 4 is? 72. Percentage. Correct. The next sum, Spriti tell. 27 by 50 into? Into 100 percentage. 100%. So 50 and 100 can cancel? Yes. 50 is 1. Now denominator is 1. So, in the numerator, you have to multiply. What is 27 into 2? 54, ma'am. 54. Right. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Pradyota, tell me this. First, you must multiply by 100. So, it is 0. 0 into 2. 0 into 2. So, 2 is Then 2. Paisa, so the answer is going to be uh, 45 by 2%. But can we make, make it into mixed fraction or a decimal means what will we do? What is the mixed fraction for this? 45 by 2. 22 is 44. 1. So it is 22, 1 by 2. Percent. If you are writing it in decimal, how do you write? 22.4% because oh, five. Oh, five. because dot zero five ten zero. If they ask you to convert it to decimal, I mean fraction percentage or a decimal percentage, you can do this. Clear? Yes, now express percentage as a fraction or a decimal or a number or a number. Okay. 
I'll do a couple of examples, then I will give you some time to do. percent how do I convert? What is the concept I don't multiply it by 1 by 100? Nothing but this 12 will be written as it is. This percentage symbol will become into 1 by 100. And then you will cancel. 4 threes are 4, 25 are equal to 3 by 5. 27, 1 by 3 as percentage. So, what is 27, 1 by 3? It's in mixed lunch. Convert into improper lunch. Improper lunch. 82 by 3. 82 by 3 percent. Now, this is my value. How do I convert it now? 82 by 3, I will write it as it is. This percentage symbol will become 1 by 2, 1 by 100. Into 1 by 100. Remember that. Cancel. Both 2. 2 for the 8. 2 ones are 2. 2 15 are. Both are divisible by 2, so I am using this. Now, 41 is divisible by 3 or 50? No. 41 is a prime number. So, answer is 41 by 150. 41 into 1, 3 into 50. Now, that is 41 by 150 percent. No. Percentage, you are converting it to a fraction. This percentage symbol has changed to 1 by 100. You can't put percentage there. You have expressed this percentage as fractions. You can use this thing there. Okay. okay. Now, if they give a decimal, 18.5%, how do we do? I will tell you two methods, which are easy, you can follow. One is, as it is, 18.5 will become 1 by 100 into 1 by 100 here. When you have to, when there are two zeros from the decimal position, if it is divided by zero from the decimal, I will write the numerator as it is, 185. Where is the decimal? It's here, 1, 2. So, I can shift the decimal, 1, 2. So, it will become this. This is one method. This is one method. Another method is 18.5 into 1 by 100. Correct? This one. 18.5 can be written as 185 by 10. As fraction. Why decimal to fraction? 185 by 10 into 1 by 100. Now my this thing will be 185 divided by 1000. What is decimals? I will write 185. 1, 2, 3 decimal. 1, 2, 3 decimal. decimal. Any of this letter you can use to convert into decimal fraction. 0 0.05 percent. How do we convert into a decimal? 0 0.05 into 1 by 100. Yes. Right? So I can write it as 5 by 100 into 1 by 100. This 0 0.05 is nothing but 5 by 100. So I can write it as 5 by 100. 5 by 10,000. 10, so now, how do I convert into decimal? 5 will be written as it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, dot. You should count like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, dot. 1 is already there. 2, 3, 4, dot. And a 0. So, 0 0.05% is nothing. Nothing but 0 0.0005. If they ask you in decimal, you will write like this. If they ask you in fraction, how will you write? 5 by 10,000 is 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10, 0, 1 by 2000. If they ask you to convert this into decimal, you will write this answer. If they ask you to convert into fraction, you will write it in this answer. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, first one, start with the. Yes, ma'am. 25 into. Into 1 by 100. Okay. 
If I cancel, it will become. So if it is fraction means I will write it as 1 by 4, 1 by 4. If it is decimal, you will write it as 0 0.25. Clear? Smriti, can you tell this? Yes, ma'am. 62.5 into 1 by 100. Good. Which is? This I can write it as 625 by 10. Into 1 by 100. So, this is 625 divided by 10 into 100 is? 1000. 1000. Now, how will we do? 625 I will write it as it is. 1, 2, 3 and decimal. So, it is. 1, 2, 3, Six. and 0. 0. 0. 0.625. If we convert it into decimal. If we have to convert it to fraction, I know that both are divisible by 5. Or so 5 do, are both are 5. Divisible by one. 2. Yes, 5 twos are 10, 2, 5 fives are 25. And then here, 5 twos are 10, 0, 0. Again, both are divisible by 5. Correct? Instead, 5 and 0. So, 5 twos are 10, 2, 5 fives are 25. Here, 5 fours are 20 and 0. Again, yes, by 5. Again, by 5. So, 5 fives are Five eight are so in fraction you will write it as five by eight. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Pradyata, can you write this was uh, three thirty seven point five into one by hundred. So I am going to shift the decimal to the left side. So two how two, many two uh, two digits and one of okay. So it is going to be zero point three seven five. Good. Now, if we have to convert into fraction, what do you do? First, uh, we must uh, do the subject of 3 and the subject of 5 and divided by 10. So, yeah, divided into 1 by 100. So, we get 3, uh, 375 divided by 1000. So, uh, which number is divisible? It's divisible by 5. Uh, five. So, um, 35, 2, 5, 5, 6, 25, and here, 5, 200. Two. Again, it will be 2, 5, yes, ma'am. 5, 1, sir, 5, 2, 3, 5, 5, 20. So, 5, 1, sir, 5, 3, sir, 5, 8, sir. It is 3, 5, 8. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. All of you are clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma to calculate a given percent of a number. This is a basic concept. So we will see this. What is 6% of 100? This will be the first question. So first I need to convert this into a fraction. What is 6%? 6 into 1 by 100. Percentage 1 by 100. Off. In board mass, you know, off means multiplication. 100, I will write it as it is. Now, 100 and 100 gets cancelled. Answer is 6. 6 into 1 into 1. Okay? If I do 3, 2, 3 sums, you will understand. 18% of 100. Maybe 18 into 1 by 100 into 100. 100 cancel. 18 into 1 is 18. So that is 18. Okay. 32 percent of 100. 32 into 1 by 100 into 100. Cancel the 100 and you get 32. You should multiply 32 by 1, which is 32. Good. Next, this is easy. Okay.
okay this is with multiplication with 100 now what is 32 percent of 25 same way you should write 32 into 1 by 100 in into 25 now 25 and 100 gets cancelled yes, so 25 ones are 25 fours are now 4 32 32 is a multiple of 4 4 eights are 32 ma'am correct 4 eights are 32 so 4 ones are 4 4 eights are 32 so answer is 8 into 1 into 1 denominator is 1 so answer is 8, eight. tell me what is 40 percent of 18 40 into 1 by 100 into 80. Now, two zeros are there. One zero here, one zero here. Simple. You don't need to cancel anything else. Now, numerator is 4 into 8. This cancellation, you should try to do like this. Whenever zeros are there, try to cancel the zeros. When it is after the number, not before the number, not in between the number. First, 13 into 1 by 100 into 130. So, we have to cancel the 0. What is 13 into 13? Now, nothing else to cancel. So, what is 13 into 13? 13 into 13 is 169. Divided by 10. 10. So, how do I write it now? In decimal, 169, I will write it as it is. After decimal, one number so sixteen point nine. Sixteen point nine, sir. Yeah. Riddhi, can you try this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Twenty six into one by hundred into two fifty. Good. We can cancel out the zero in two fifty and hundred. So five two are five. Paisa, correct? Yes, ma'am. Now, 26 and 2, both are even numbers, so it's, it's, you can cancel by 2? Yes, ma'am. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. 13. Yes, ma'am. Now, numerator, what is there? 13 is 5. Denominator, 1. So, uh, what is 13 into 5? 65, ma'am. Correct. 65. Understood? Oh, so, 35 into 1 by 100 into 180. So, in 180 is 0 fraction and in 100, 10 is 0. You can cancel 35 and 10. Both divisible by 5. 5 is 10 and 5 7s are is 0. Now, both are even numbers? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are. So, answer is 7 into 9, 63.0. So, you all understood the concept, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.